Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, former five-star tight end recruit Eric Gilbert has decided to transfer to Nebraska. I'm going to go over whether I think it was a good decision for him to transfer to Nebraska and whether I think he can save his college football career. Now, Eric Gilbert was the top tight end recruit in the 2020 class. He's 6'5", 248 pounds. He's such a talented player. He has the size and athleticism to be a wide receiver tight end hybrid. He definitely has the size of a tight end, but he has the athleticism of a wide receiver. And he committed to LSU out of high school in 2020, and he had a pretty solid freshman year at LSU. And you look at his 2020 stats when he was at LSU as a freshman, and he caught 35 passes for 368 yards and two touchdowns. That is not a bad freshman year for a tight end, and a lot of people thought that Eric Gilbert had to underachieve what they thought he was going to do out of high school, but they still thought he had a solid first season and that he could definitely improve in his next year. And after his freshman year at LSU in 2020, he decided to enter the transfer portal and go to Georgia in 2021. And it was kind of odd that he transferred from LSU, especially considering how much he did play for the Tigers, but in 2021, he didn't play for George at all, and then in 2022, he only had two receptions for 16 yards and a touchdown this past year, and he barely played, and he also missed more time as well for undisclosed reasons, and for Eric Gilbert, the biggest issue has been he's not been on the field for various reasons. At Georgia, he didn't even play for them in 2021. He missed the entire season, and then he barely played in 2022 for Georgia as well, and most of the time, he was out for personal or undisclosed reasons. And I think Eric Gilbert's first mistake is that he transferred from LSU to Georgia. I understand Georgia was his home state, and maybe he wanted to play closer to home, and maybe things just did not work out completely for him at LSU. But he did play for LSU most of the season, and he put up a decent amount of yards. But when he transferred to Georgia, he didn't even play for him in 2021. And in 2022, he was behind tight ends Brock Bowers and Darnell Washington, two guys that are really talented, especially Brock Bowers. And Eric Gilbert was behind the eight ball because he'd missed playing college football for a year. So if, if he had a state at LSU, maybe he would have kept playing. So even though Eric Gilbert has all the talent in the world, he hasn't played, and that's really set back his development. And him deciding to enter the transfer portal again from Georgia is going to be really tough for him to adjust and go to a third program and be able to have success, but it can be done. A lot of players have decided to transfer for their third time, and it's ended up working out. And you look at Eric Gilbert again, he has all the physical tools. And him transferring to Nebraska, he's going to be instantly the best tight end in that room. There's going to be no other tight end that Nebraska has that's going to be able to compete with Eric Gilbert as long as Eric Gilbert plays. And that is the key for Eric Gilbert's success at Nebraska. Nebraska because it doesn't matter where he transfers to. He could transfer to UMass. He could transfer to Nebraska. It doesn't matter where he goes. He's just going to have to play. As long as he is the best tight end in the room, which he is at Nebraska, he will be able to play and hopefully be able to put up some stats. And if he has a great season at Nebraska, then all is not lost. Eric Gilbert can easily go to the NFL after having a big year in college. Because trust me, scouts still remember this guy in high school and what he was able to do and that he was the number one tight end coming out of high school in the 2020 class. So it's not like his career is over. But when you do not play, that really hurts your capability of gaining confidence. It really hurts your ability to develop. And that lessens your chances of being in the NFL where they expect you to play all the time. They're not going to draft you if you haven't played and put up stats. So for Eric Gilbert, I think transferring to Nebraska is a really good thing because Matt Rules in his first year as head coach, Nebraska does not have a tight ends room like Georgia does, and he'll be able to instantly play. So for Eric Gilbert, he's going to have to understand that if he wants to have any success at the college level and to go to the NFL, he's going to have to play for Nebraska in 2023. He cannot sit out for undisclosed reasons. He cannot be out for injury. Obviously, if an injury does happen to him, that's out of his control. But he can't miss more time. Eric Gilbert, if he wants an NFL career, which he is completely capable of doing, he is going to have to play at Nebraska in 2023. And I think if he does play at Nebraska, I think he should have a solid season and hopefully be able to save his NFL career. And for Nebraska, I think this is a great addition to get Eric Gilbert because of the fact optically to get a former five-star recruit like Eric Gilbert will definitely help Nebraska to potentially be able to land other great transfer portal players. And Matt Rule, if he can continue to get great players in the transfer portal. I think he can really turn Nebraska around. And even if Eric Gilbert does not really play, 
a big role for Nebraska this upcoming season. I think for Nebraska, being able to land Eric Gilbert will potentially be able to help the Cornhuskers land more talented players under Matt Rule. But again, for Eric Gilbert, it will be a great decision going to Nebraska as long as he plays for the Cornhuskers in 2023. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Eric Gilbert transferring to Nebraska and whether you think he'll save his football career at the Cornhuskers. And I will see you next time.